Okay, let's have the initial description given here. Let's have a look at this of uh, what is data generally. So, if you look at this, it says, we live in a world where we rely on data and information. Everything that we do uh, today, before computers were there, or whatever it is that we do today, particularly using computers and maybe in future as well, everything that we do in our everyday life, whether it is individuals, whether it is companies, organizations, businesses, they, they rely on data all the time or they rely on data and information all the time. Every organization has some data stored, okay, that they use on a day-to-day -day basis to get their things done. Without, without data being there, without information being there, uh, there's just nothing to work with, all right? So that is what it says. It says, it is important that data is accurate. Digital technology helps us to manage the input and transfer of data so that it is fit for purpose for its intended audience. All right. Whatever data it, it is that we have, whatever information that we have, it is not only important to, to have that, but it is, it is probably even more important to have it in the right form. It, it is accurate. Only accurate data or accurate information will result in it being processed accurately and the desired results being produced. If in first place, the data that we are going to base our decisions on, if that data is inaccurate, if that data doesn't have integrity, when I say that data doesn't have integrity, what I basically mean is that if it is not reliable or it is not trustworthy, then of course, whatever processing I carry out on it and later on, produce certain results or outputs, those results or outputs will not be according to what I desire and my purpose would not be met. Hence, it is important that whatever data or information that an organization is holding, they ensure its integrity so that whenever it is used, it produces the desired results. So that's that as far as the intro is concerned. Now we have to sort of dig down deep into understanding what data is and what is information dono mein exactly difference kya hai what is the exact difference okay so let's let's uh, start that discussion now if you have a look at what's given in here in the book let me magnify it a bit it says here that Data is raw numbers, letters, symbols, sounds, images with no meaning. Data is raw numbers, letters, symbols, sounds or images with no meaning. What does that mean? Data is raw in the sense that it is of no use to us because there is no meaning attached to it. Only and only if some meaning is attached to the data would it become useful to us in some form. All right, in some way. Let's quickly have a look at, before we look at other examples, uh, let's have a look at this picture that you see on the right. We could see that there's this man uh, who seems to be very happy and uh, he's riding a bike, he's riding a bicycle. Can anyone in this class tell me who this guy is? Who is he? Of course, he's a human. <laughs> can anyone tell, can anyone tell, uh, can you identify this individual? If you cannot identify this individual, can you say that, well, you can use this picture that is in front of you in some, in any way? You cannot because you do not know who this person is, why is he riding a bicycle, which part of the world he is in, 
if he is happy why is he happy you do not know anything about him all right so it will remain raw for us because we cannot we cannot associate any kind of meaning with this picture so i cannot use it i cannot use it in any way right let's have a look at one or two more examples have a look at this code p952br can anyone in this class tell me what this uh, might be about what this code is about okay some of you are saying that it is a password anyone else it's a postal code anyone else sorry serial number okay now the thing is all all these answers that you people are giving me they are assumptions they are assumptions okay some of you are saying that it might be a postal code some of you are saying that it might be a password okay or whatever but do we exactly know what it is no we don't so until unless i do not know what it exactly is can i use it in any way i cannot use it in any way all right so again whatever the code is in front of me it would remain raw or it would remain raw data for me because i can only assume what it could be but i do not exactly know what it is i will only be able to use it in some way or the other if i know what it exactly is all right are you are you getting this let's have a look at another example the example right below which is at bbc click again it's some sort of a link what is it a link of i do not know so if i do not know i would not be able to use it in any way one more example rather two more examples 359 a random number uh it could be the uh the room number of a, in a hotel it could be the total marks of a student or it could be just any other random number but again i do not know as to what this number is about or what is its purpose again since i do not know it will be useless to me and the last example is a random number a, a random decimal value that is 23557.99 this could be anything <coughs> sorry this could be anything right so the the thing is in all these examples am i able to relate these to any particular thing no i am not able to do that if i am not able to do that it is raw for me it is raw for me it is just raw data because i cannot associate any meaning with it and since i cannot do that it is not useful to me in any way right okay so uh now do you understand that data why data is raw facts figures uh which is numbers letters pictures audio video that has that has no meaning okay it would remain raw in order to make data useful for myself in some way i will have to give it some meaning before i can even begin to you know make it useful for myself so there are two stages that we take the data through to convert data into information what is the first step the first step is giving data some context i have to contextualize my data i have to put it in some context that's the first step and then that context can be assigned some sort of a meaning for it to be for it to become useful all right now what what do i basically mean by giving data a context let's see let's have a look at this table there are three columns the first column has data in it the second column 
as the context and the third column has a comment on the context. This is the first step towards uh, taking this data towards information or converting this data into information to make it useful. The same example P952BR. The context that we are giving it is that it is a product code. What context are we giving it? It is a product code. Now, all those assumptions that we uh, sort of came up with have all been negated now. It is not a postal code. It is not a, a password. It is not something else. It is a product code. So at least we know that much. So we have given it a context. All the assumptions have been negated. Let's have a very close look at the comment given here. It says, this is a product code, but it is still not known what it is a product code for. So it is still data. Although it is a product code, we know. But do we know what this is a product code of? I do not know that. Until unless I know that what this product code for which product uh, this product code is, okay, I would not be able to use it in any meaningful way. Or I will not be able to use it to my advantage. I will useful to use it Context to ho gaya, lekin useful nahi ho gaya. All right. Okay. Let's have a look at the second example, which, which, which was at BBC Click. It is a Twitter handle. So the context now given is that this link is a Twitter handle. So I at least know something about it, that it is a Twitter handle. But if you look at the comment, it says, this is an address used for Twitter, but it is not information unless it is known to be a Twitter handle or used within Twitter software. It's also not known whose address it is. I can, I can tell all right that it is a Twitter handle, but do I know what it is a Twitter handle of? I do not know that. Sorry? Yeah, but that's, that's the later part. That's the later part. Okay, let's, let's keep it up till this point for the time being, you know, giving just the context to the data. And the last example was 359, a price in Pakistani rupees. So now I know that it is not a room number of a hotel or it is not the total marks of a student. It is the, it is the price, in, it is a price in Pakistani rupees of something. I do not know what that something is. Price in Pakistani rupees, but I do not know what is it a price of. So, in all these three examples, we started off with raw data, okay, and we are in the process of making it useful for us, you know, in some way. So, we first have to give it a context so that assumptions can be negated. So, context has been is there now, so we have at least some direction. The next step after this will be, will be to assign a meaning with all these data items that we have just contextualized. All right. So let's have a look at another table here. Now, if you look at this table, the three columns, the first column remains data, the second column remains context, but the third column has been changed from comment to meaning. It has been changed from common to meaning. The first example of data was P952BR, which we, uh, you know, when, when we gave it a context, we said that it is a product code. The meaning that we are giving it is a product code for a can of noodles. Now we exactly know what this, which product this product code represents. Can I now say that it is useful to me in some way? Because out of hundreds of thousands of products that lie in the shelves of uh, superstores, okay, I am able to identify that which product this product code represents. Every product has a product code in, in that supermarket or in that superstore, right? But 
if I know which product code is for which product, then I know what it is about and I can use it in some way or the other. It will become useful to me in some way. The second example at BBC Click, it is a Twitter handle. We did not know what is it a Twitter handle for. Okay, so now we are attaching a meaning to it. And what is the meaning? It says the Twitter address for the BBC's weekly technology show, the name of which is Click, okay, which is worth watching on BBC World News and BBC, BBC Two to keep up to date with technology. Now I know what the purpose of this Twitter handle is. पहले मेरे लिए सिर्फ ये ट्विटर हैंडल था जब मैंने उसको कॉन्टेक्स्ट दिया नाउ आई नो द पर्पज ऑफ दिस ट्विटर हैंडल एंड इट कैन बी यूज इन सम वे राइट इफ आई वॉन्ट इफ आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन टेक न्यूज आई दिस इज वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन एंड आई कैन आई कैन एक्सप्लोर और राइट द लास्ट थिंग द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल वॉज थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन विच I know is a price in Pakistani rupees, but I did not know as to which product, uh, you know, uh, is priced three fifty nine. So in the meaning part, it says the price of a mobile phone cover. So again, if it is a case of a price in Pakistani rupees, uh, okay, I know that much, but I do not know as to which product it is a price of. so now i know that this is the price of maybe not a cup of coffee or not uh, some other product okay it is the price of a mobile phone cover in pakistani rupees so it is useful to me in some way are you getting this any question related to this so data to begin with is raw you give it a context context and then is then attached a meaning for it to become useful when data becomes useful it is called information when data becomes useful or for that matter anything which is useful to me in some in any way what do i basically mean by that is that it has some meaning to me then i will be able to use it in some way otherwise it will remain very vague it will remain raw so how do we define information if you look at uh, the definition of, definition of information closely it says when data items are given context and meaning they become information data is raw in first place you give it a context you attach a meaning to it it becomes information aur maine aapko kya bataya ki information kya hai data is raw useless undefined unrefined unfiltered information is refined has a meaning that makes it useful and when i say you know making it useful what i basically mean is i can use it in my everyday life you know for the purpose that i that i want to use it for so this is how you can differentiate between data and information 